This game wants her to die so bad. Her and Daniel, I'm keeping them alive. The hope. You're not killing them. Let's check that I out. won't allow it. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. Like, these two have been through hell. They're gonna make it. They're my power couple. Alright, uh, can you all get out of the way, though? Because I need to walk here. Thanks. Oof. I think one of my favorite things about this game so far is how they're, they're like, playing Daniel and Taylor off as, like, a team. So, like, every time one of them is about to die, like, it swaps me between the two characters to, like, save the other one. That's really fun. What does that sound? Sounds like, like a didgeridoo or something. And there's another puppet. So, hold on. I'm gathering my thoughts here. So, I don't think Mary is evil. I think the priest is evil. When we had that flashback at the beginning of the game to the 70s in the Clark house, the entire family was like, we have to get rid of Megan. Megan is like this little evil witch bitch that's going to get us all killed. And then the house burned down and and they all died. So like every time we come back to these people, all the suspicion goes on the little girl. So I wonder if the only way to free ourselves from this is to take care of the real evil, which is the priest, what and to save... Mary, Megan, whoever. Um, hopeful. Whatever it was, it's gone, and it ain't coming back. I really hope you're right. Only a matter of time before they. I don't know. I'm trying to piece together the story, which I'm really enjoying, by the way. Um. Thoughtful. There's got to be a way of stopping the girl. We might have already missed a chance to change things. You had a That's chance what I wanted to, to say. get Mary exposed for what she is—a liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a right. theory, but right now it's all we've got. Come on, let's take a look. I didn't want to be an asshole. That's not what I was going for. Um. All right, what's over here? Just like more fence. Uh, this is, a uh, what? Postcard? Oh. Okay, so he's gonna get, like, crushed to death? Pressed into silence. Hmm. Alright, so John's gonna get smushed. We'll try to save him, but you know we've got we've got a lot of we got a lot of survivors right now. I don't know. We're gonna have to see what happens. We gotta find another route. I am happy that he saved Taylor, but um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Mayor, what? Mayor Hale's land deal. Fear's protests will surely escalate as closure looms. The closure of the, uh, the mill. Okay. And what's this? Carver for mayor. Carver for mayor? Wasn't Carver the name of the, the priest? Samuel Carver? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I don't know. I'm, I may be mixing up some of my names. Okay. Anything over here? No. I guess we're going upstairs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't worry, John. I'll go. I'm glad that the only thing that's played is Daniel so much. This is the character that, like, I'm, I'm enjoying Check the most. Out. Hey! 
Oh, it's our friend Vince. Oh, this will all be over soon, okay. That guy's a menace. <clears throat> I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on. Because he doesn't see the same Inside. stuff that we do. So what, Vince just shouted hey at us and then we're just going to leave him? Maybe we should go talk to him. He said he was going to get us help, right? Well, no one's been here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> It's my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words Carver. seek to twist the truth. That's Carver. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. Hmm. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed <clears throat> brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be a new ward, Reverend? Me, I of am course. Prepared to take responsibility for the child. He's a piece of shit. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. You're a Abraham. piece of shit, Reverend. What am I to do? Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? It's the priest. This is tough for this you. This is tough. I get that. Would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Right. Tell and the court the what you have one. come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it. Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in the I'm not here Hall. for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. Well. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Like, we're the apparitions, Myself, though, least, right? Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack. Abraham advised Judge Wyman that they could not be certain of Mary's guilt. Ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. That's a bad idea. I would not do that. So Carver was the priest, and Carver also used to be the mayor of Little Hope. We saw a sign for him downstairs. So he keeps coming back, Tell too. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong. Like, she's the victim here. Oh, right. That's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! I don't think so. Okay, so now what? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. What do you think? Is he right about this? Um, supportive. It went down like he said. It went down just like he said. Yeah, we're going to back Andrew on this. I don't think we need to be after the little girl. I think the little girl is being manipulated by the priest. What the fuck? We can't stay. 
Let's get out of here. What are we? Are we hearing something? Are we seeing something? Okay, we get to play as Daniel again. I just want to play as Daniel all game. Uh, brush. Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. That looks like um, like John in the front, right? Oh, I can't even. I would never be able to find that picture here. This one. Old photo of the factory employees. It looks like um, like John in the front with the glasses. James Clark. Sadly missed by his many friends and colleagues. So, Clark is the name of the the house that burned down, 1972. So James must have been the father, right? I think. I say kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. Uh, Vincent Barnes. Employment warning letter. Difficult circumstances. Um, enthusiastic, punctual, and sober. Mr. Vincent Barnes. Who's Vincent Barnes? We've met Vince. If that's notice for Vince, the bar patron that we met on the bicycle. We don't know his last name. This is the, the Clark family, right? Get over here. You gotta see this. The one that burned the fire? This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. They did. They did. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. That's probably smart. Look at us finding clues. Mystery solvers. Now nightmare. we're best friends. Daniel and Andrew. It's my nightmare. Why are you guys all in it? Andrew. Yeah, could say the same thing. Let's go, bestie. Looking for clues. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? The Clarks. Maybe time is right? fucked up here. Like, that really is us in that photo. No, that's the Clark family. They're around the same age as us. As far as I can tell. Uh, what's this? Uh... Samuel, Samuel Notchett, 1693. Having read Captain Bond's letter attesting the affair with Lieutenant, with, with Little Hope, Lieutenant Hope, heard the, oh, this is from, from Thomas Wyman, the judge. Pastor Carver's teaching strayed from two doctrine and piety. His mind wandered from the fellowship of saints and surrendered to sin over many years. These tend to his past behaviors, which affect to corrupt the town. So Reverend Carver was also into satanic worship, into the occult. Like, every time the priest comes back, he's an asshole devil worshiper. And there's Judge Wyman. Right? Oh, what's this? Thomas Wyman. Thomas presided over the conviction of several witches in Little Hope. He later regretted placing so much weight on a child's testimony. Uh, the current factory was found on the site of Wyman's residence. Interesting. Okay. Neato. Look at us. Finding clues, solving mysteries. Uh, can you flip the newspaper over, honey? We weren't we didn't actually get anything out of that. There we go. 
Little Hope Factory to close, 1973. Only 600 jobs are set to be lost. The Raymond Dent Textile Factory closes its gates. The decision was announced on Tuesday by Hazel Carver. While the donors have been receptive to the union's ideas, our coverage rejects them at every turn. We want a partnership with the family to save their business. Right. So there's another carver. Main source of income from the majority of the town's families. Many are worried what the future will bring. The factory closing will gut the town. Ferryman, bus drivers wanted. Full training given uniforms. Interesting. Okay. So Mayor Carver shut down the, the mill that was like the heart of the town. And that's why the town died, essentially. So we don't like the Carvers. Uh, factory closure. Factory has been closed due to liquidation of Little Hope Textiles. Following several incidents since the closure was placed off limits. Interesting. <clears throat> Sorry. I've been talking all day. My voice is a little bit hoarse. But I'm still playing this because I'm still loving it. Um, Taylor, is there anything by that door or, or what? Are you just like standing there? Okay, she's just kind of standing there. All right. Just, just checking in with you, boo. I'm gonna go see my pal Andrew. We're best friends now. Team Dandrew. Okay. So what's your theory? Hold on. We're gonna talk to you in just a minute. After we look at this... Who's this? Wait a minute. Stop. Pick up the picture. No, 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 no. That was Taylor's boyfriend, right? Oh my god. Can we flip over the pic? Mm. I want to flip over the picture. Daniel. Daniel, sweetheart. Flip it. It's the story here. Tanya, she Tanya and Vince. Other guy. Vince was her boyfriend. Vince is the name of the the barfly that we've been seeing around town. Is he is he trapped in this too? Somehow? Interesting. So we saw that that note upstairs from from Vince Barnes saying stop being a drunken asshole and he said kiss my ass. And now there's a picture of him together with right Tanya. Close. We need to find a way out of here now. Team Dandrew. Looking for clues. What is that sound? Can we like shove this That's out of the heavy. way or something? Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? I gotta push. Help me, you brother. Take that side. I'll take this side. We push together, right? Good. Now, push. Square. Oh shit. Whoa. Oh shit. Ah. <gasps> Grab him. Oh my god. No. That was the wrong. Oh my god. This better not be my Daniel? demon. Oh shit! No! Move! You better grab him. Uh, pull up. Jump! Saucy. Climb. Clamber. He's moving. He's getting back. Pull him up. Go. Go, go, go. Go! Oh, <gasps> no! I didn't want them to go. I thought that they were going to tell him to go. Oh my god, no. Fight him off. Fight him off. Oh, 
Pachow! Oh god, do not die. Life depended on it. Oh shit. Daniel, are you still oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Hold on, I need a moment. When when we were climbing up the bar and it said go, I thought that we were playing as Andrew and Andrew was telling Daniel, like, go, climb faster. Not like go get out of here to save yourselves. Daniel. Like fuck that. Save me. Save me. Say something. Oh shit. He's gone. We no, out this. Okay. Let's go before anything else happens. So that premonition we saw earlier where Andrew and Daniel were running through that storm drain and, and closing the grate behind them. I wonder if, if that was in relation to this. Like if Andrew had jumped down there to attack the demon, they could have escaped together. But it's fine. Daniel's alive. Daniel's cool. Oh my god, my heart is going. I'm like, no! Daniel? This game wants to kill them Where so the bad. You? Answer me! You see Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. I hope so. I've been working hard to keep him and Taylor alive. Oh, oh my god. My heart is going like a million miles a minute. You okay, that was Daniel? great. Where the fuck has he got to? Stay cool. We'll get him back. Like I didn't want to risk Andrew jumping down there with him, but I, maybe that would have been the smarter choice. Cause demon's not gonna kill Andrew. Andrew's demon's gonna kill Andrew. Um, and we're not seeing like Daniel? any interactable things here. Where are you, buddy? Andrew. Hey. You guys. I'm up Where here. Boy, am I happy to see you guys. Feelings mutual. Oh my God, he's alive. Welcome back. Oh, oh thank God. God. I thought I'd lost you. We kicked that Thank demon's ass. Well. That was something. And did you spotted that kid, Mary? Not seen her. So John's gotta be next, right? I've seen this before. Um have we? It's like a sun symbol, right? Sun and moon, we've seen them in a couple different places. If that's what I'm thinking of. What's in the trunk? Um, that's real hatred. Mr. Clark, the guy I have been drawn to the trunk. Anthony Clark survived. That's why his grave wasn't there. He was found with a box of matches in his hands at the scene for causing the fire. Burn in hell. Does that mean that he he's the only one that like survives these incidents? Because we haven't seen his demon yet. He survived the fire and the rest of his family died. In the Does fire. he not have a demon? You see that? Here she is. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. Girl was seen in the backyard of the ruined house. All right, this is gonna be the next one. This is gonna be like John's death, right? No one in the <clears throat> home is safe while you still draw yep. breath, Jersey. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. 
speaking of my late wife. There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe. Joseph, Ooh. do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'll found this infection with madness. Roy, you but six servants. We have to stop this. So we we have the wrong one. That's why we keep dying over and over again. Help Joseph confront Mary. Uh Help Joseph, right? No, wait, if we help Joseph, they're just gonna say, oh, no, wait. They're gonna be like, oh, witchcraft. Come on, help me. Look. Right? They're gonna see the rocks no floating and they're gonna be like, look, he's a witch. This is witchcraft. Shit. More that was stupid stones. of me. The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not blink. Yeah, we should have confronted Mary. The My fault. Little Lord rests in your hands. Sorry. Sorry, Joseph. You're gonna get a smush. Ooh. to death but I think I think we keep dying over and over again because we keep we keep blaming Mary like we're stuck in this cycle of of denial and blame and death and I don't think it's her so John's next <clears throat> what happened tell me we don't have a lot of time. No, you sure don't. Oh. John, get away from it. I'm tired of running. Are you crazy? We gotta move. Yeah, it's time to go, honey. Come on, you fuck, I'm ready. Go. Hit him. Oh no, we missed. Oh. All right, hold on. We have a chance to not grab it. Oh, no. I'm pushing X as fast as I can. I feel bad condemning these guys to death, but sometimes they just got to go. And now Andrew's coming in. Get ready to swing. Oh, we missed. Ooh. Time to go. Ooh. And a miss. Grab the bar. They're giving us a lot of chances, at least. Reckless, uncertain, aggressive, indignant. Like, I don't know what those mean. I know what the words mean, but why do they show up? Ooh. Sorry. Ooh, damn, that was a good death. They give us a lot of chances to save him. I don't remember getting that many chances in Man of Madon when, when my characters died. I remember getting like one and then that was it. Sorry, we had to thin the herd out a little bit. Like we can't just end the game with four out of five people surviving. Cool death scene though. Oh my God, we're all dead. None of us is getting out of here alive. Well, I mean, Come you on. guys are. We're gonna we keep you way. alive. It ain't over yet. Place looks like it burned You're not down. going anywhere. Something here isn't right. Something isn't right is this shitty town's motto. Yeah, like in, in Man of Madan, 
in until dawn like it was very very hard to keep your characters alive this one they've given us like ample opportunities they're like are you sure you want john to die press press x for john to die like they give us a lot of chances who is this who is that rope Wait, wait, that is a, that's a gold picture, right? Am I wrong? It's got like a gold frame? All right, we, we can't look at it again for whatever reason. I don't know why when, I, when I'm going to pick stuff up, it's like glitching and it's not allowing me to pick things up. Um, hold on. Here we go. Uh, secrets, pictures? Yeah, that one's got a gold frame. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if that bears any, any relevance. We're back. Oh my god. We're back at the Clark house. That's the tire swing that we saw in the first episode. When I was like, why am I looking at this tire swing? And it's even got little stars painting on it. Ooh. There's Taylor's ghost. They're all coming back to us. Her demon. I keep calling them ghosts. I guess they're supposed to be demons. Um, excuse me, little girl. Stop hiding from us. Heading upstairs. Okay. What is that, like, grunting sound? I hate that. That's, um, that's the Clark parents, right? Wait, wait, what does it say on the back? Excuse me. I wasn't done. I want to see what's on the back. James, James and Anne, 1948. Yeah. What's this? Modern guide successful parenting. Well, I mean... Didn't seem to do so well. What are those sounds? And they're trying to they're to be friends. So parents step theories and encourage love. Um, spoiling a child in this way has grave consequences. Those sounds are really starting to make me antsy. So what is what does this have to do with anything? Like Cool. Setting limits. Um, bad manners. As he progresses towards adolescence, a child is apt to lose his manners. Talk stuff, leaves his shoelaces untied, arrives at the dinner table with dirty hands. Um, a child needs to understand the difference between those hostile feelings and hostile actions. Interesting. So I'm assuming they probably bought this book for Mary, right? Because she was such a handful. Okay. Um, I think we just have like demons on all sides now. It sounds like outside. We are we are trapped in this house. Can we can we look out this door or window or whatever? No. I mean, it seems like we should be able to. There we go. What are we looking for or at? I don't see anything. Hmm. Oh my god. Ah, <sighs> uh, they're everywhere. This is maybe the little girl Megan talking? Drawing on her walls? That's not what good girls do, Megan. Um, what's this? Ooh. 
Oh, there's a key in there. Get the key. Okay. Um, an old key is hidden inside. So get the key. It's right... What are you doing? It's it's right there. Can we get the key, please? No? Why would it tell us that there's an old key hidden inside and that we can't get the key? I'm going to be really mad if, like, we're locked out of a room later and we end up dying because we couldn't grab that key. Reverend Carson. Dear Anne, thank you for your letter regarding Megan. I understand your concerns and assure you that your daughter's rebellious behavior is not unusual. I've helped parents with similar issues. Um, she says, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant. We see me after the service on Sunday. So, they had a disrespectful child. They bought parenting books and stuff on it. They couldn't find any way to fix the issue, so they left her with their priest on Sundays. And their priest ended up being like a, an asshole. What are we looking at? There's something there now, isn't there? <gasps> yep. You're all coming. Ah. Please don't kill Daniel. Or Taylor. Mostly Daniel. So, I want this key. Can I get this key, please? You're still not going to let me have this key. I feel like this key is important to us. Are we meant to have the key? No. Like, if there's a chase sequence later, and they're like, Oh my god, we're gonna die because this door is locked. I'm gonna be like, Wasn't there a key? In that clock. That I could have grabbed. Seven times, and then didn't. What was that? Little girl. Little girl. Let's go find her. Let's. She's in here. What the Where hell? is Daniel? Stay here. Where is Daniel? One of y'all better go back downstairs and fetch my man. Hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vital, will you? Andrew, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. He knows I was about to confess all to the judge. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested little hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? I thought Abraham wasn't going to say anything. The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed it's a doll. her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar. Now the tent child, the creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Because you're an asshole. This is crazy. These people have lost their freaking minds. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but <clears throat> now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Mm -hmm. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. Um, trouble. There's something wrong in this town. Carver is evil. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. Yeah, the truth it's him. hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all. You'll his not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. 
I will see this town purged of all evil. You're messing this up. Harbor isn't the one you should be calling out. What must I do, what do to mean? bring little Hawk back into the light? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. Uh, you have to stop you Harbor. Have to stop he's the Harbor. one. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to... Even the Reverend Carver was a source of real evil. Of yeah. I know what must be done here. Yeah, he's the one. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickened me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. Reverend Carver is a homosexual. Well, what's this? How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Those don't look Mary, super Christian. Your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing. The devil's daughter has deceived you all. Not me. I see her. I see her. Satan's all. You will pay heavily Ooh. for your crimes. I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you. I... Andrew influenced his double to defend Mary's innocence and condemn the... I hope he made the right choice. I hope Mary doesn't turn out to be evil. I will be dead. You saved me. I shall remember you all my days. I hope so. Because I feel like, like every time we die... Can I see my bearing or no? I feel like every time it's like with... Uh, Mary was judged to be an innocent and gratefully thank Andrew for his help. We end up thinking that like Mary or Megan is the problem. But I didn't save you. What do you mean I didn't save you? What? Okay. What am I missing? You did it. It worked. It did? 100% you made the right call. That jerk of a priest was the real bad guy. Right. Sure. But then why don't yeah. we say we didn't save her? I mean, I should feel great. Uh, but I don't. I, I, I feel nothing. Why? Come on. Let's get out of here. What happened? Did we make the wrong... Was she really evil? Wait, what? Why don't we feel anything? What the hell happened? We're all packed and ready to leave town. I think it's over. Uh, unless those demons are still outside. <laughs> I wouldn't go out there until I'm sure that they're not out there waiting for you. Right? Taylor survived the night. Daniel survived the night. What am I missing about about Andrew? Where something's off. Hey. I'm real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough times Wait. these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. Okay. So he... He recognized... Andrew as Anthony from the past.
Isn't this the bus, the diner from the beginning of the game with the bus driver? Who we never found, by I'm the way. I'm sorry for what I've put you all through. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through you hell. That, right? Finally getting out of this hell. Blame yourself for <laughs> what? I just wish we all could have made it. What? He's the bus driver? We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. There's no folks there. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Wait. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. Need a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. So these characters were never real. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. So the entire time these characters were all just in our heads, we were playing as Anthony Clark, the bus driver from the 70s. And you found the bus driver who was never far away. But where does all the witchcraft stuff play in? What? What? Explain, curator, explain. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. Yeah, I might need to. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All you're doing. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Till we meet That's all you got to say? Maybe in the South Pacific. Or the Arabian Desert. Or somewhere else. I got another bonus but feature. We will meet again. At least one more time. Right, I think they plan on this being a trilogy. So, 
I don't know how I feel about that ending, y'all. Like, so, so everything was in his head. Are we just assuming that the witches and the priests and all that stuff were just, like, made up in his head? And he was just trying to, like, find his own redemption for the house fire that happened in the 70s? Because they were never in any real danger. Obviously, Vince, Vince really lived in that town. He was a real person. And... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that ending. I'm not- I'm not 100% on board with it. I don't know if there's different endings. But let's- let's roll through the credits and then we'll- we'll talk it out. Alright, this might be the trailer for the next one. Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. You wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell. I don't believe it and I was there. In Sumerian myth, they say the souls of the dead went deep underground to the house of ashes. Hmm. Where they lived on like dust the descent. plagued by the demons of the underworld. Interesting. Okay, that might be a cool one. All right, so that'll be the, the next game, House of Ashes. Cool. I really like this series. So, <clears throat> now that we're finished, some thoughts. I'm not super keen on the ending. And the reason I'm not keen on the ending is because, like a lot of TV shows and stuff do, it feels like we were living through a dream sequence. Like, what's the point of being attached to these characters and their motivations and keeping them alive if they're not real? So now, like, the next time I go on a playthrough of this, I'm going to know that all these characters are just in Andrew's head. And they're not real. And that's kind of a bummer. I wish that there was... And again, I might I might play it again, and it might be, like, a different ending. Maybe maybe Andrew will die, or maybe, maybe something else will happen. I have no idea. Um, so I really like this game. I think I actually... I liked it. It's hard to compare the two. Man of Madon, I think, had more horror elements. This one, I feel like, had a lot more tension. Like, I felt like I was on my toes, like, pretty much the entire entire second half of the game when I had to keep the characters alive. But the one thing I just don't... It's not sticking with me is this ending. Like, we had five characters. Two of them died. But really, the entire story was, like... Like, Anthony Clark's own redemption. Trying to compensate for the fact that, like, his whole family died in a fire. And he made these characters up in his head. Like, his friends that were really his family. So none of it was real. The only characters that were real were Vince, Vince and Anthony, right? Everyone else was just in his head, including all the witchy stuff. Like, I don't think any of the witchcraft stuff was real. So, I don't know. Maybe when I play it again from like another another angle or whatever, it'll it'll make more sense for me. Right now, the only thing that's bugging me about this game is the ending. I loved the whole playthrough. I hope you all enjoyed it too. Um, stick around. If you all want to see me do another playthrough of this, from from the other side like i said i think i have a code because i pre-ordered this for the curator's choice which means that you're you're able to play the game again from like a different perspective um let me know in the comments below and and i'll put that up too but um as it stands right now i'll probably just be playing this one alone for fun i also have more remothered coming this week and i'll try and get more higurashi up when i can but i appreciate y'all tuning in and i hope you enjoyed the ride i'll catch you for the next one peace